conversation. Each and every other time in the context of his request that Mr. Raffensperger undertake a signature, a review of signature verifications and his concerns generally with ballot integrity and his reported electoral deficit, here are a few examples. Quote, but why wouldn't you want to find the right answer, Brad? Why? Why? Instead why? Instead keep saying what, that the numbers are right, because those numbers are so wrong. So the we are uh, talking Come about on. we think the impeachment, the this charade, real charade, the going back in Fulton County. And we just can't get enough of this political theater, of honestly. Signatures of people who have been forged. And we are quite sure that's going to happen, end quote. Moreover, there was nothing untoward Trump lawyer President Trump or any talking. other for that matter, speaking with the lead elections officer of a state. That's why the Georgia Secretary of State took a call. Uh, I guess we're talking about this call that supposedly was uh, recorded. Uh, surreptitiously used that word in a sentence today, once again, word of the day. And their Democratic allies distorted the true conversation to mislead you and the American public. And the American public. So we have a complete lack of evidence for the complete lack of evidence presented by the House managers. So why are we here? So why are we Politics. here? Politics. Their goal is to eliminate a political opponent, to substitute their judgment for the will of the voters. Why bother with a Senate trial of Donald why bother? Trump is no longer president? He'll be out of office anyway. Is it to keep him from ever running again? Make sure he can never run for office again. Keep him from running for office again. Donald Trump would not be able to run for office again. But Barring him from running for office again. Disqualified from running for office. Disqualify him from ever running from office again. Disqualified from running Let's for office disqualify again. him no. from no. running no. for office. He can never run again. Let's let's do that. Ever running for office. Ever running again. Let's do that. If we don't impeach this president, he will get reelected. All right. Pardon me while I send this to somebody. Substitute their judgment for the will of the voters. Members of the Senate. Our country needs to get back to work. I know that you know that. But instead, we are here. But what are we doing here? The majority here? party promised to you. What are we doing? And deliver more COVID relief. But instead, they did what this. What are we doing? We will not they did what? take most of our time today, us of the defense in the hopes that you will take back these hours and use them take back these hours i wish i had my hours back of covid relief to the american people let's focus on the covid relief let us be clear this trial is about far more than president trump it is about silencing and banning the speech the majority does not agree with is that what it, it is? It's about canceling 75 million Trump voters. Really? Criminalizing this is political backwards. viewpoints. That is what this trial is really about. It's the only existential issue. Existential? It, it asks for constitutional cancel culture to take over in the United States Senate. Are we going to allow canceling and banning and silencing to be sanctioned in this body? Let's see if that's it. To the Democrats who view this as a moment of opportunity, I urge you instead to look to the principles of free expression and free speech. I hope, truly, 
that the next time you are in the minority, you don't find yourself in this position. Let's not find ourselves in this position. To the Republicans in this chamber. This is a joke. This I is political theater that goes nowhere. It's just ridiculous. Please resist. Resist it. will be an overwhelming temptation. A temptation. This urge. To do this very same Trump thing. Trump derangement, right? Tell him, brother. I don't know. Come on. I mean, let's take a pause here. Let's 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 sit sit in. This sit includes in. the formal defense of the 45th <gasps> president of the United States to the impeachment. This is going to conclude it. This is he said Part everything he's going to say. I understand that there is a procedure in place for questions, and we await them. There I really close await. We're waiting for the questions, Trump. right? Is that what we're doing here? I, Mr. President, so we yield the balance. They concluded the arguments of this clown show, and it went nowhere. Bunch of jokes. We're going to have some more talking heads. Let me roll back a little bit and just give you a little snapshot of this clown theater that we actually had. It was just a joke. And it's more just politics as usual. It's complete bullshit, and it's just ridiculous. And we just shouldn't be watching. I shouldn't even be doing anything here. But I have to. Their practice this broadcast and uh, I'm just going to use the, this content as a method in which we can do this. So let's roll back. Forget this. Forget her. We're going to get back to the proceedings. We are going to lay out. Let's go back. What did he call for? He called for rally. What did he call for? Peacefully and patriotically make their voices heard. Oh, to walk down Pennsylvania. He said, pretty please. Members of Congress. Cheer him on! Went on for more than an hour, ending at 11. Tell him to clap. Why is this important? Because of Why is all it important? the events that I am about to describe, they all occurred before, before, <gasps> before President Trump's remarks concluded. Really? All before? At 12:49 p.m. Listen to this. Listen to the, the timestamps. At the U.S. Capitol grounds were pushed over, and the crowd entered the restricted area. This is before Trump At stopped speaking? PM, <gasps> Acting Defense Secretary Christopher Miller received open source reports of demonstrator movements at, to the U.S. Capitol. At 1.09 Ooh, p.m., reporting. U.S. Capitol Police Chief Stephen Sun called the House and Senate Sergeants at Arms, telling them he wanted an emergency declared. <gasps> and he, wanted he actually called. Guard called. He actually wanted them called. The Given Did the he call for them? Events, the criminals at the Capitol criminals weren't there at the ellipse to even hear the president's words. They were more than a mile away engaged a in mile. a pre-planned assault on this <gasps> very building. Oh, is this is this, this they were pre-planning a, pre a mile assault. away? Make no mistake. Pre-planned a critical fact. Critical. Watch it. Does anyone in this chamber honestly believe that but for the conduct of President Trump? I Oh, that a charge in the article of impeachment that, that charge, attack at the Capitol would have been that attack at the Capitol. Anybody Capitol. believe that? Does it anybody? was not some sort of spontaneous <gasps> decision by a bunch of, quote, protesters oh. to go up to Capitol Hill and it was not storm Capitol Hill. This was all planned out. All was, was planned. planned. How much of this was planned. strategized ahead of time? Oh, look at that dude. Indications I really love that dude. Scene that indicates uh, that there was some level of planning. There appears to be premeditation. Appears FBI to be premeditation. Wasn't it spontaneous? Like, oh, FBI like Benghazi. Ghazi spontaneous thing from a uh, Islamic phobia video? Is that what we heard? Oh man, so much of this stuff comes from politics. You just can't trust anybody. You can't. You don't get this anywhere. So you get all this kind of immediate reaction just to get the first comment out there, just to get the clicks. And then there's no way to roll stuff back. And so all those lies, everything that everybody just spewed out there is stuck there forever. And it's not 
rolled back. So you wonder why you get this so much of this kind of fake news stuff is everybody gets spun up on the initial reactions and then the truth comes out way later and you don't get any, you don't get that same level of uh, distribution or, you know, the same level of truth being disseminated in a factual, unbiased way. Does anybody believe that this would have occurred but for the speech from Donald Trump? I do. <laughs> I do. I do. I do, bro. All of these facts make clear the January 6th speech did not cause the riots. The president did not cause the riots. He didn't he cause the riots. explicitly or implicitly encouraged the use of violence or lawless action, but in fact called for peaceful exercise of every American's First Amendment Peaceful rights, exercise. Peacefully assemble. And peacefully assemble. For redress of grievances. Redress words, of grievances. Brandenburg standard is not made out. <gasps> Brandenburg standard House managers admitted many facts are unknown even speaker Pelosi admitted not knowing the real cause of the violence when she there's a lot that Pelosi doesn't know let's be honest the facts and causes that led to the violence oh oh let's be clear we need a 9-11 commission we need to waste a lot more time and distract you all from what's actually, you know, doing the people's work during a pandemic and getting people paid when they're unemployed, they can't run their small business while we let Megacorp be out there making billions, but you're, you know, the war on small business and individuals with freedoms, we got to focus on the 9-11 commission of this bullshit just to distract because we don't do, we don't hold our politicians accountable. We'd rather watch this crap. The obvious fact that the House managers ignored, the private call that was made public by others cannot really be the basis to claim that serotypically uh, recorded say that three times serotypically serotypically to use this call is that how you pronounce it I, let me know no i, I can't serotypically recorded serotypically recorded serotypically recorded <laughs> Managers told you that the president demanded <laughs> that the Georgia Secretary of State quote find just over eleven thousand votes. Find the word find, like find. so many others the House managers highlighted, is taken completely out of context. Out of, of course, out of context. Find did not come out of thin air. No. Based no, who came up with that word? Publicly available voter data that the ballot rejection rate in Georgia in 2016 was approximately 6.42%. And even though a tremendous amount of new first-time mail-in ballots were included in the 2020 count, the Georgia rejection rate in 2020 was a mere four-tenths of 1%. Get Adjusted out of here! 6.42% to 0.4%. 6.4 to point four signature verification to be done in public yeah, it just seems a little different a right quest for signature verifications to be done in public be a basis for a charge for inciting a riot oh. with that background it is clear that president trump's i don't know <sighs> find we've were solely related to his concerns with the inexplicable done, drugs they stole it through illegal rates. legal means they i don't know illegal and illegal means in my opinion but it is what it is and you just you know Mr. Trump's first use you can't you can't freaking change quote. things after we the fact and you check the let the clown in, just swap the clown for another clown, County, and then uh, you'll find at least a couple hopefully we'll get our elections cleared up of people and we get some divorced. authenticity and some faith in the system again. But and we let's just move on. Sure that's going to this happen. stuff, this whole theater, President Trump it's also just used theater, as follows. more theater. 
Now, why aren't we doing signatures? Why are we wasting time on this when people need to, to get paid and, and into their businesses back in shape and uh, they get the health care that they need, the vaccines? But we'd rather waste time on this. Find, you know, they don't want to find anything. Someday you'll tell I could care less what was recorded, what conversation. The dude is out of office. But someday you'll He's out of office. But why don't you want to find or bullshit? President Trump echoed his previous sentiments again in the context of pursuing a legitimate and robust investigation into the legitimate last and robust for conversation and absentee ballots. <sighs> And why can't we have professionals do it instead of rank amateurs who will never find anything why? and don't want to find anything? They don't Nobody want wanted to find anything. anything. Want to the find whole anything. cabal is Time article, the, you know, Time magazine and the article find, explained. You know, they don't want to find Everybody anything. wanted someday him out. You'll tell me why. It's okay. Because I don't understand your reasoning, but someday you'll tell me why. But why don't you want to find... Let's move we can on. Go through signature verification and we'll find hundreds of thousands of signatures and you can let us do it. And the only way you can do that. This is call it, is bullshit. As you know, is Who to cares? Go to the past. Who cares? But you didn't do that in Cobb County. You just looked at one page compared to another. The only way you could do a signature verification is to go from one that signed it in no on November, whatever, recently and compare it. To two years ago, four years ago, six years ago. Six years ago. You Come know, on, man. And you'll find that you have many different signatures. But in Fulton, where they dumped ballots, you will find that you have many that aren't even signed and that you have many forgeries. And <sighs> Nobody cares. <clears throat> Nobody cares. Use the word fine throughout the conversation. Move on. Each and every other time in the context of his request, I'm just Reynolds wasting time here because I need to use up and test this setup and, and his concerns this is just a, integrity a local studio in my, deficit, um, in my house and I'm um, testing some technologies and quote, I needed to validate interaction, mixed media right and this politics is just noise to me what, that the numbers are right, but because those numbers gotta have something, so gotta play wrong. with something so this is it, man. It is annoying and it's frustrating. We think that if you check the signatures, a real check of the signatures going back in Fulton County, you know, you'll find at least a I will say there are some things here. Forged signatures of people who have been forged. And we are quite sure that there's definitely and happened all over the country. And anybody who says there isn't, that's World, complete foolish because this mail-in ballot was President full. Trump of or just chock full of crap. Speaking just, the there's no chain of custody. Of the there's no chain of custody. The Unlike absentee ballots, you have to request it. Of his team. They took mail in One and they just shot out millions, to the press. millions of freaking ballots. This millions. Is being discussed in this and there's no validation. And once again, you heard about China, and Georgia and, and their freaking the true conversation ballot kind of evaluation and the difference of like 6% versus 0.4%. That's significant. So we and have so all I'm saying is a complete you need to do something. You need to do something different and we need to get faith back in this system. Management. Let's move on. Let's get out so of this fucking bullshit because it is. Politics. It's all clown politics. Their goal is to eliminate a political opponent. To substitute their judgment. You're not going to get rid of him. He's more dangerous as a private citizen with his voice, and he's going to get outside of Twitter. People are going to follow him. He'll be out of office anyway. Is it to keep him from ever running again? The media. Sure he can never run for office again. Keep him from running for office again. Donald Trump would not be able to run for office again. But Barring him from running for office again. Disqualified from running for office again. You know what this is all about. This, this is an outsider, non-politician, who actually won the presidency for the first time. A non-Republican, although he ran within the Republican Party, he was definitely an outsider and why you had those never Trumpers. And then you've got essentially the Democrats, of course, because they're the other party and they're gonna, you know, be against him anyway. But this is about the establishment and the swamp 
and and the cabal between Wall Street substitute and politicians and big corp. You've got mega corps making tons of money during this pandemic, squeezing out small business competition through this pandemic exercise. They leveraged the pandemic to seize power and take freedoms. And President Trump was the first non-politician to win office, they did this. and they can't stand that. And it's all been about that for the whole time. Take most of our time today. And they're not going to allow this to happen. Most and that's why they got to get him impeached in the through the Senate take back these and, uh, and, and, and stop him from doing it again, to get basically. Delivery all right, I'm off of my uh, of COVID relief poll to the American people. Rant. Let us be clear. Let us be clear. This trial is about far more than President Trump. It is. It is about silencing and banning the speech the majority does not agree with. It is Don't get me on tech censorship, man. Big tech, man. Trump voters. And criminal. You know, I'm fine with your, you know, terms of service, constitutional tramplings, that but is what this trial when you stop another about competitor, and let's it's say it truly is competition here, and you ban them from from being on the NAP store, you ban them from running from servers, constitutional and culture. you as Google have over 90% of the share of web search, even their websites are being curtailed from being discovered. This is illegal. It's, it's monopolistic. And duopoly the with the app stores and the privacy and censorship, these are all big, big, big conversations for us to have. And, and that's what we need to be having. Not this bullshit. This is a complete waste of fucking time, this clown show. You don't find yourself in this position. It's ridiculous. To the Republicans in this chamber, I ask when you are next in the majority, Please resist what will be an overwhelming they can't. temptation. The Republicans won't. They can't give to up. Do this they, very same thing. They'll do the damn same thing. To the politicians are politicians. They're run by Big Corp. They're run by Wall Street. Don't even try it. Members of the this Senate. is all facade. This concludes the formal defense of the 45th president of the Can United we say States this is over for once? The Can they frickin' vote on this? Dude, by the House of Representatives. He, I understand can we stop this whole bullshit? In place for questions, and we await them. Thereafter, we will close on behalf of President Trump. Whoo! Uh, Mr. President, we yield the balance. Okay. And All right, there you have it. Uh, All right, so that was a little recap of what I had. Uh, I didn't have a lot there. You just heard from Bruce Kaplan. Yeah, this is just a joke. Of will return to finding solutions for COVID. Let's see what uh, else we got here. Process. If you were fighting a parking ticket, he said. Manipulated evidence and selectively edited material. Now there was a phrase uh, that Bruce Castor what? used there toward the end of his remarks. Falsus. Hey, you gotta join this live stream. Omnibus. I'll words, send you a link. Fool me once. Perhaps you're fooling us <laughs> all of the time. And that's going to be central to the defense that they laid out here. We still don't think when they vote, if they in fact vote sometime tomorrow, that they would ever get to 67 votes. 67, that's the magic number uh, to convict the former president. However, you know, people are keeping eyes on Republicans like uh, Bill Cassidy, Republican from Louisiana, who surprised some people a couple of days ago when he voted to forge ahead with the trial. He determined it was constitutional. He is in play, Martha. Oh, wow. Uh, Mitch McConnell, Senator Mitch McConnell, Chad, any discussion about his where he is on all of this right now? 
Mitch McConnell is going to be very influential in this process, and, and how he decides to vote, uh, that could weigh on other Republican senators, perhaps giving them air cover uh, to vote uh, to convict. We don't know, because, you know, Mitch this McConnell process, is an and, and how he decides to uh, vote, generally uh, that he, could he weigh on lip, other Republicans. his tongue uh, when President Trump would do, you know, extraordinary things, which riled up the left, obviously, and he would be asked questions about, uh, you know, President Trump, and he would kind of defer, uh, but he was pretty upset over what happened with that riot, and that's where some believe that Mitch McConnell could be in play. But we really want to underscore that word could there. Nobody on Capitol Hill plays their cards as close to their vest as Mitch McConnell. Frankly, we don't know, and it would just be conjecture to suggest otherwise. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, and 44 of the members of the McConnell. Senate Frankly, voted we don't that know, this was an unconstitutional process. He was otherwise. one of them, although there was some suggestion that he was giving people room to vote their conscience on this, even if they had voted that way. And I think it's also worth remembering that his wife, Elaine Chao, member of the cabinet, resigned in the wake of January the 6th. So it's going to be very interesting to watch what he has to say about this when the voting comes around. Chad, thank you very much for laying sure. it out for us this afternoon. We believe we've got about a 15-minute break before we get back into this area of questions. So we want to bring in Mercedes Schlapp, former White House Director of Strategic Communications and former Trump campaign senior advisor. Mercedes, always good to have you with us. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you for having we me We saw, you know, what did you think of, of the defense uh, on the Trump side today? Look, I think that the defense team was looked a lot stronger uh, than they did in the previous days. Uh, they presented a very coherent message on the fact that the president stands by law and order. The just get in um, for a second. We're going to move ahead. In favor of bailing out people who were in those, in, in those melees. Go ahead, Katie. Sorry. Yeah, I was just going to say that, you know, Vice President Harris now was linking to riot bailout funds of people who had burned down uh, businesses in Minneapolis, burned down the police precinct. And the difference between uh, the I don't know. And private businesses is that the capital will be restored. I wanted to go back. Funding, while the lives and the livelihoods and the Listen entire to this guy. life work of a family business. Even took the stage on January 6th. Let me repeat that. Let's replay. Let's repeat. We're assembling at the Capitol over a mile away, almost an hour over a mile away. Uttered a single word on the ellipse. You did not hear that fact during the hours and hours of the House manager's presentation, did you? Did you? When the president spoke, what did he call for? What did he, he call for? for? Rally attendees to peacefully and patriotically make. What did he call heard? for? For them to walk down Pennsylvania Avenue to cheer on members of Congress. Cheer. President to Trump clap Trump them. More than an hour he just said clap. Time. Now, why is this important? Why? Because of why is all it important? the events that I am about to describe, they <sighs> all occurred before. Before? Before. Before. President Trump's remarks before. concluded. At 12.49 p.m., Seriously. The first barriers at the U.S. Capitol grounds were pushed over and the crowd entered the restricted area. <gasps> no. At 11.05 p.m., really? Defense Secretary Christopher Miller received open source reports of demonstrators. Open source? To the US what does open source reports at mean? At 9 p.m., U.S. Capitol Police Chief Stephen Sun called the House and Senate Sergeants at Arms, telling them he wanted an emergency declared. And he emergency wanted National Guard called National Guard. He wanted emergency. Point, given the timeline of events, the criminals at the Capitol weren't there at the ellipse to even hear the president. The ellipse? What's the ellipse? Where were the ellipse? Engaged in their pre-planned assault. Like very AOC? Very were they like over there by AOC planning? No mistake. And that is a critical fact. Watch this. <gasps> Let's Does watch. anyone in this chamber honestly believe that but for the conduct of President Trump, but for the conduct charged in the article of impeachment, <gasps> that that attack at the Capitol would have occurred? Does anybody that, believe that? Does, any, does anybody believe that? Spontaneous decision by a bunch spontaneous. of spontaneous to go up to Capitol Hill and, and storm Capitol Hill. This was all planned out. How much of it was pre-planned? How 
Pre-planned. Strategy. Strategize. Strategization. There appears to be premeditation. Appears. Internal report the day before the scene. The day before. War at the capital. Violent war. A violent war. War at the capital. War. Law enforcement agencies about this specific attack. Be ready. This attack. This war. Doors being kicked in. We developed some doors. They had doors being kicked in. To the D.C. area. He kicked it in! We immediately shared that information. And they pushed out that information through the no. JTTF structure. Was immediately JTTF? A JTTF? What? To all levels of law the FBI says two pipe bombs discovered near the Capitol on January 6th. Pipe bombs. Very serious. New video pipe bombs. Show a person suspected of planting pipe bombs. Planting pipe bombs. That's really... Oh! <gasps> The night before Look at that Ewok! Between 7.30 and 8.30 p.m. 7.30 and 8.30 that Ewok went out there and planted bombs. Now, were, let's hear about the pipe bombs. Were they actual pipe bombs? This is a planned assault. Is it going after a castle? It's a war with bombs. It's a war with bombs! The question of the house manager, does anybody believe that this would have occurred but for the speech from Donald Trump? I do. Me, 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 here. All of no, these facts. I don't care. <laughs> the January 6th I just want to raise my hand because it was just he the asked me to. Did not cause the riots. He neither explicitly or implicitly encouraged the use explicitly of violence. Explicitly or, or implicitly. But in fact, called for peaceful exercise of every American's peaceful exercise to peaceful assemble. Peaceful assemble. Their government for redress of grievances. And petition. In other words, petition. The Brandenburg standard is not made out. Brandenburg standard. The House what is the Brandenburg standard? Facts are unknown. Even Speaker Pelosi what? admitted not knowing the real <gasps> cause of the violence. Pelosi admitted that she doesn't know something. <gasps> examine the facts. Oh my God! Be still, my heart. Led to the violence. <laughs> <gasps> we need a, we need a 9/11 commission. We need a 9-11 commission. We need to distract more. 9-11. This country on this political theater. We need a 9-11 commission for what was basically a protest with a slight minority mob that trespassed on, on their own people's capital. The they did take shit, they stole, article. arrest those people, and the people that did President fight, phone call to fucking, Secretary let's of State book them on assault. Fine with that. Totally embarrassment. But come on. A war on the Capitol? Including like all the media? I mean, this is just, this whole thing... On the call. Can we get to some real Let's substance for once? Fact that the House Can we get to a place where we're actually doing the people's public business public and not focusing not on this really political fucking the theater where everybody is lying uh, and just getting their opinion out there just so that they can get a non-politician to be able to re to rerun as president in the future in 2024? Let's be honest, this is what it's all about. If he had no intent to make the conversation public, and indeed, uh, nothing to do with it being more secretly recorded. Secretly recorded conversations? How many secretly recorded conversations are we going to have of Trump? State, Nobody freaking cares. Nobody cares. Votes. The word find, like so many others, find. the House managers highlighted, is taken completely out of context. And the word context. Find context matters, right? Context matters. Based on an analysis of publicly available voter data that the publicly available in Georgia in 2016 voter data was approximately 6.42%. <gasps> and even though a tremendous amount of new first time mail in ballots were included in the 2020 count, the Georgia rejection rate in 2020 was a mere four tenths of 1%. What? A drop off from 6.42% to 0.4 percent 6.4 to 0.4 is that what i heard your verification to be done in public 
Ridiculous. Mail-in balloting. Come on. To be done in public. Please. Be a basis for a charge for inciting a riot. How could that be? With that background, it is clear that President Trump's comments and the use of the word find were find. solely related to his concerns with the inexplicable dramatic drop in Georgia's ballot rejection Inexplicable. Rates. Say that three times. That's inexplicable. Exactly inexplicable. Inexplicable. Conversation. It's a good one. Word of the day. Mr. Trump's Mark that one. The word find was as follows. Quote, oh, he, Trump has a big dictionary. He said he uses the word find. A single syllable word, but still a valid and very valuable word to use in your vocabulary. Of forged signatures of people who have been forged. Forged? Oh, did I get that right? Is the forged signature is actually forged? Is that what we just heard? President Trump also used find as follows. Quote, Trump used the word find! What a good boy! He's so intelligent. He and used the word find. Have professionals do it instead of rank amateurs who will never find anything and don't want to find anything. I bet he wanted to, to want say to they're find. fired. You know, I hope on that secretly recorded anything. video or, or call, Someday, he said, you're fired. Me. That would be you hilarious. I would love that. But I want a recording of that. Why. Tell me. Why don't you want to find? Why, why wouldn't you want to find it? Why wouldn't you? President Trump echoed his previous sentiments again in the context of pursuing. <sighs> again, he voiced his concern over and over again for mail in and the mail in ballots and the lack of signatures. There's no chain of custody. So many problems with it. And he keeps bringing this up, and nobody wants to listen to him. Come on, that's all he was doing. They don't want to find anything. You know, they don't want to find anything. Trump, tell them they're fired. <laughs> they don't want to find, you know, they don't want to find anything. Someday you'll tell me why. You know, you Trump likes to ramble. I would love to hear another secretly recorded video or conversation like a hole in the head. Nobody wants to hear another bullshit thing. This political theater is more fucking political theater. to go to the past, but you didn't do that in Cobb County. You didn't do it in Cobb County. Page compared to another. The only way you could do a signature verification is to go from one that signed it in no on November whatever. Recently. November whatever. <laughs> two years ago. Four years ago. Six years ago. Uh, six know, years ago. Eight years ago. You know, just go back in history. Figure it out. But in Fulton, where they dumped ballots, <gasps> you will find that you have many that aren't even signed. And that you have many forgeries. End quote. End quote. <clears throat> Mr. Trump continued to use the word fine throughout the conversation. Each and every other time in the context of his request that Mr. Raffensperger undertake a signature, a review of signature verifications. Oh boy. His concerns what are we going to do with these guys? Valid integrity. And his valid integrity. Deficit, here are a few examples. Quote. But why wouldn't you want to find the right answer, Brad? Brad, instead of keep saying get the answer, answer Brad. Come on. Right, why wouldn't you find the answer, so Brad? Come on. Another. Example. You're fired. Quote. We think that if you check the signatures, a real check of the signatures, a real check back in Fulton County, you'll find at least a couple hundred thousand of forged signatures of people. Couple hundred thousand. Couple and hundred thousand. Sure that's going to happen, end quote. End quote. Moreover, there was nothing untoward with President Trump or any other candidate for that. Nothing matter. wrong with Speaking it. With it was a perfectly fine conversation. State. That's Perfectly fine. Secretary of State took Another Ukraine call, secretly recorded conversation. Team. One Perfectly fine. Recorded and release it to the How come we've got two of these the impeachments on in this utilizing a secretly recorded conversation? And Tell me that. Allies distorted the true conversation to mislead you and the American public. Oh, this is just a joke. Just so a joke. Come on. A complete lack of evidence 
for the article of impeachment presented by the House managers? Yes, agreed. So why are we here? Why are we here? <laughs> I don't know. What? Their goal is to eliminate a political opponent. <gasps> That's why. To substitute their job yeah. for the will of the voters. Yes. Why now I get it. Trial of Donald Trump. He's no longer president. He'll be out of office anyway. Is it to oh. keep him from ever running again? Is that yeah, why? Trump never run for office again. Oh, the truth is out. Donald Trump would not be able to run for office again. Barring him from running for office again. Disqualify is that what this is all about? Disqualify him from ever running from office Just again. Disqualify, disqualify him. him. Yes. Disqualifying. Focusing that he can never run again. Remove him. That's what it's all about. They want to kick him out. That's what they want. That's what it's all about. If we don't impeach this president, he will get reelected. That dude's a freak. That dude is a freak. Here, let me come up with my buddy again. Tell me some more. The goal is to eliminate a political opponent to substitute yeah. their judgment for yeah. the will of the voters. Right. Members of the Senate, our country <sighs> needs to get back to work. We need to get back to work. I know that you know that. We need to stop doing this bullshit and actually here. start taking care of small business party and individual freedoms. Stop this political fucking theater, bullshit lies from fucking Wall Street, big this. tech, megacorp, and politicians we all in bed to stop the little man the and their freedoms. Tell him, brother. Of the defense, in the hopes that you will take back. We don't need a defense. And use them. Let's get, get busy with the real stuff. Delivery of COVID relief to the American people. Yes. Let us. We need clear. triple masks this for everybody. Far more everybody, tell Trump. him to get the masks on. We need more. It is about silencing and banning the speech. Yeah, if you've got three masks on, you can't speak. No freedom. You cancel speech with masks. <laughs> and criminalizing political viewpoints. Oh, no. Is that what it's all about? It's the only existential issue. Existential. Another word, vocabulary, three words. Three times. It asks. Three times. Say it. Existential. Existential. Culture. Existential. Take over. Ooh, I'm good at that. United States Senate. Thank you for my vocabulary we lesson, bro. Canceling and banning and silencing to be sanctioned in this body. <sighs> to the Democrats who view this as a moment of opportunity. My man. I urge you instead. Urge them to look to the principles of free expression, principles and free speech and free speech. I hope I, truly that the next time you are in the minority, you don't find yourself in this position. True words, bro. True words to the Republicans in this chamber. I ask do something for once in the majority. Get off your ass. Please resist what will be an overwhelming temptation. They're friggin' just as bad. Any primary their asses. To the opposing party. There's just a bunch of frickin' talking heads that just do nothing. Nothing! They had both the houses and they did nothing! This concludes the formal defense of the 45th president uh, of the United can States. Can this be over? To the impeachment article. Can this be over? Filed by the House of Representatives. Please. I understand that there is a procedure in place for questions. And we await them. Ah, let's move ahead. And we get to this poll. On behalf of President Trump. Okay, we got some more guy. Of President Trump. All right, we're back in, baby. Do some more. Let's find out. Let's do some more clown show. Let's get it all. Let's get, pop it. Bring it. Oh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to talk to you about something that's really concerning Trump about this country. Directly, Donald Trump summoned the mob. <gasps> he assembled the mob and he lit he the He assembled the mob. Everything that followed was because of Everything. his doing. 
But if you watch the timeline, it was all beforehand and it was pre-planned. But, ha- but evidently, that doesn't matter. January 6 would not have occurred but for President Trump. Okay. The evidence we presented at trial makes this absolutely clear. I like his beard. This attack, as we said, it's got a great beard. Come from one. I need to grow my beard out. And it didn't happen by accident. And that mob didn't come out of thin air. <gasps> it wasn't pre-planned. Election, Donald Trump spread. They weren't planning a, a mile away. Fraud. Just in like election, AOC was remember, a mile away and was fearing for her life. Before the election took place, he was saying it was rigged, that it was going to be stolen. Yeah, mail and ballots are pretty bad, dude. But we know that <sighs> chain of custody, bro. I'm not going to go over it anymore. But you already stole it, so and what he did move was, on. Uh, he spent week after week inciting his supporters to believe that their votes had been stolen and that the election was fraudulent and that it was their patriotic duty to fight like hell to stop the steal and take their peacefully country. did you did you remember, hear that context did you our want to include that at all maybe you tell somebody that an election victory is being stolen from them that's a combustible situation it's a combustible and he gave it's another word that's added to your vocabulary for example combustible on 19th, that one's easy to say over and over again six president trump told them how and where to fight for it he first issued his call to action he did. for January 6th. Oh, he did this call for action. Save the date sent 18 days before the for event on January 6th. A peaceful rally. It wasn't just a casual one-off reference. Or a no, he's had rallies all day long, all year long. Days, he directed all of the rage he had incited to January rage. 6th. Rage, rage. And that was for him what he saw as his last chance to stop the transfer of power. Let's be honest. Presidency. He is a little and bit of a wacky. Like, quote, but... fight to the death. And January 6th will be a quote wild and quote historic day. Uh, and this wild is and quote they got historic. The message. In the days leading to the attack, report after report, social media post after social media post <gasps> confirmed that these insurgents confirmed. were planning armed violence. Insurgents! They were, because he they were insurgents. Because it was a war. That's why it was, was a war. It. These posts, confirmed by reports from the FBI and Catholic <sighs> police, made clear that these insurgents were planning to carry weapons, including guns, to oh, target the like Antifa. Itself. It was Antifa. And yet, Donald Trump oh no, it was the Proud Boys. The morning of his speech, Proud Boys. That's right. Times, that black to get guy who runs Proud Boys. He's a racist. Warned and they bring was coming. weapons. He warned us that thousands were descending into D.C. and would not take it anymore. <gasps> That's a call to action. At the Save America march, he they told did. them again in he that told speech exactly what to do. Exactly. His, his lawyer opened with, quote, let's have trial by combat. That was yeah. Giuliani. Giuliani, and you fucked up there. Brought That's brought that stupid. I mean, you come on, man. I mean... <laughs> The dude because is right Trump here. I mean, Giuliani, what a dumbass. In that speech. Uh, Remember, I can't believe that a guy would even say something like that. People that you, how do you take that guy seriously with his freaking president that you love? Freaking die job so running down, sweating. I mean, if you can't put an argument together and not look like a fraud in the first place, and then you go to this thing and you say something so violent incitement like that that's just embarrassing i'll give him that that's just stupid some of which the rest of this shit is all bullshit it's all political theater i'm gonna let you listen to him i'll let you listen. i just need to waste some time and use some content here because i'm practicing got some new tech and uh he told them to fight like wanted to watch this clown show hope you're enjoying the clown show you know, we've it's shown clearly ju- it's a joke. that once the attack began, insurgent after insurgent made clear they were following the president's orders. You got saw dressed up. That evidence of got a look respectable. Who who said, I can't See this guy with his little tie? Come. I, got, I don't have a tie. I wish I had a tie. You but saw that of the I've got to got got button up. Day. Got to button up, man. Time has expired. <gasps> he got kicked out. Are there further questions? Mr. President. Do you? Do you have more questions? 
What's going on here? I'm really Mr. eager to hear. From South Carolina, I have a question. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Oh. I send a question to the <gasps> half of myself. My favorite. And Kramer. Is it Lindsay? Is that my buddy Lindsay? Come on down here now, Anna Lindsay. Give me a little talk about what's going on here. Give me some uh, some contextual information about what's going on, Lindsay. Senator Graham oh. for himself, huh? Senator Cruz, Senator Marshall, and Senator Kramer. Um, so let's say. <clears throat> what, Lindsay on the call? A question. Bring it in, Lindsay. Counsel for Donald Trump. Uh, clerk will read it. Does a politician raising bail for rioters encourage more rioting? Oh. <gasps> Good question. Council has five minutes. Good question. Mm. Yes. We might get something actually informational and some a little this bit of dialogue here. The rest of their time. Doubt it. Doubt it. Uh, Just joking. time is yielded back. Are there other questions? Is that it? Is that Mr. all they're going to do? They said it from Georgia. I have is a that it? For the desk. Send it to the desk. There's got to be more to this. It's just got to be more. Let's skip ahead, people. Let's skip ahead. This is the this is a waste of time. Senator Warnock has a question for the. Oh, we got somebody. House managers, Clark will. His belief that the election was being stolen. Oh, Democrat. Or that there was fraud or corruption or unconstitutionality. We have no problem at all with him going to court to do it. And he did, and he lost in 61 straight cases. <laughs> the lowest courts in the land in the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, this. Um, he lost in courts in Pennsylvania, <laughs> Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin. All of them said the same thing. They couldn't find any Oh, any so corruption. much fun. They couldn't find any fraud. Nah, so I just wasted a Friday. A material level that would alter the outcome of any <laughs> I got dressed up. That's the American system. And so, yeah, and so I got uh, got the a new mic and uh, was trying out full screen, full body. And I saw this thing on. I'm like, oh shit, I might as well get dressed up and freaking counter this bullshit. And we have no problem with the fact that is it does it come through well? Audio's good. Things, but notice, number one, nice. The big lie was refuted. Uh, so much fun. In federal so much bullshit. I don't know how much I could take, though. I might stop soon. Appointed by yeah, President yeah. Donald Trump himself. A bunch of clouds. Are they checking it out? Pennsylvania, where yeah, no U.S. District Court yeah, Judge yeah, Matthew Brown yeah, said, yeah, in the yeah, yeah. States, we'll do. Can, no See, the, 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 the court has been presented with strained oh, cut out early. arguments without merit and speculative accusations in the U.S. This cannot justify the disenfranchisement of a single voter, let alone all the voters of its sixth most populous state. Our people, laws, and institutions demand more. Then and went up to this Judge guy speaks Stephanos fast. Bebas, who's a Trump uh, appointee, who is a, a part of the uh, appeals Too court. Too fast, panel. bro. He said, First thing you got to understand. have no merit. The people that are watching this, the number of ballots that specifically challenge they need they need you to slow down. Vote margin victory Enunciate. Take your time. By illegal voters, plus You're too passionate. You're too would be drastic deranged. Disenfranchising a huge chill. Electorate and Relax. All of the down Settle down. Too. Settle down. Incidentally, weren't being challenged, uh, even though it was the exact same ballot. Uh, that that had been brought. So um, is he is he wearing a yarmulke? President went from his judicial uh, combat, which was fine. I don't know how so he reconciles the Democrats with their, their policy on Israel. Legislators, and then finally, as representative, and Trump then said, look at Trump and see what Trump did for Israel in his four years in office. How does that for cognitive dissonance? Kind of the disconnect the there the happened the for him. Now, I'm really curious. I'd love to ask him that. Does he know that's how, how much Trump did for for Israel? Inciting violence that's versus the about. squad and, we heard and his compatriots that. and his own party. I'd love president to hear president how he calls out his own party on those type of things. That'd be really interesting to me. There were a couple propaganda reels about 
democratic politicians that would be excluded in any court in the land. They talked about the rules of evidence. All of that was totally irrelevant to the case oh, before us. Whatever evidence, you think about it, just like the last to, one, uh, we'll be happy to. You know how funny this is? Just like the last one. It's not about, you know, having your day in court, being able to, to defend yourself. This is all political theater. This is nothing to do with evidence and facts. This is all about feelings and emotions. And that's the truth. And it hasn't been, you know, eloquently described. But I think that guy actually just said it, you know, for the first time. Surprisingly, said it out loud. All right. Um, Let's see what we've got here. We're going to move ahead in the timeline. The question is from Senator Collins get... and Senator Murkowski. Ooh, Collins uh, and Murkowski. Uh, we're able to piece together a timeline. Uh, and, a timeline. Um, it goes all the way back to de December 31st, January 2nd. There is a lot of interaction between um, the authorities and um, getting folks to, to have security beforehand. On the day, we have a tweet. Uh, this is such a breakdown. So how do you, as before a government, I mean, how do you trust uh, the federal government? To bring this how do you trust the federal government if they can't the even protect the Capitol from like, uh, and that's the problem, what was maybe 50 uh, to 100 people in the Capitol? Proceeding. The house manager. I mean, did that's zero embarrassing, and that's really what this comes down to. People. It's really their pound of flesh Deserve to get payback because they looked embarrassed. With no this was evidence. just a freaking political hearsay rally on top of that, hearsay, as you always get in a population, a select few minority people to take things to extremes, required like Antifa, here. BLM and people. Getting in people's faces. All the people you heard about the Democrats talking about punching people, taking them out behind the, the bleachers, right? Like our president. Those people Mr. take president, it too far. To the desk. That's all it was. It's been done on both sides. The rest of this is just bullshit. This is all political bullshit. I'm sorry. I'm, there you go. The guy wasn't saying anything anyway, so we're going to move on. The senator from Nevada, Senator Rosen. Um, submits a question for the. The president's statement. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Senator, this is this should be a beauty. Donald Trump has a long history of praising and encouraging violence, as you saw. <gasps> He's espoused hateful rhetoric. Hateful rhetoric. He just tolerated it, but he's every side during this office. whole election has he done has hateful seen, rhetoric. As you saw in the debate, that interview to condemn extremists and white supremacist groups like the Proud Boys, and he oh, has at every the Proud Boys run by a black dude and cultivated actual violence by these groups. Actual yes, violence. Has encouraged where actual where did he violence? Act, let's give Not me that example. Fight. Okay. He told give it to me. the Proud Boys who had beaten people with baseball bats <gasps> oh. to stand by. Oh. When his supporters in the fifth oh. car caravan. When he was called out by the commentator. Campaign workers specific road, words to say stand down. Isn't that what that uh, Wallace told him specifically? Stand down. Use those exact words. And now process. you're using Chris when Wallace's words as Trump's words? Threats, I get it. Republican Secretary of State Raffensperger in Georgia. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to roll back. Mr. Raffensperger, an enemy of the state. Afterward, fight. He told groups like the Proud Boys who had beaten people with baseball bats to, this, to stand by. When his supporters in the 50-car caravan tried to drive a bus of Biden campaign workers off the road, he tweeted a video of that incident with <gasps> fight music at attached to it and wrote, I love Texas. When his supporters <laughs> That's threats, calling out specific violence? That's your evidence? Raffensperger in Georgia... He responded by calling Mr. Raffensperger an enemy of the state after he knew of those death threats. And in the morning of the second... Uh, of the you morning, know, Trump has said some Russian stupid shit. Not going to deny it. That's <laughs> not going to deny it. He began that day with the tweet, we have just begun to fight. 
I want to be clear that that was not even related, lady. Go try to make that connection. That's so much bullshit. How is that even related? That's that's the extent that they try to manipulate and twist this thing. Come on. Important points for. I'm not gonna justify freaking Trump statements. I mean, he's made stupid things, but you got the current president saying he's gonna fucking hit the fucking president, the ex president behind a bleacher. Give me a fucking break. Organizers of the Trump Let's call a spade a spade. Everybody's been a fucking clown. This is a whole fucking clown show. On January 6th. Look at the nice little bow you got going, lady. I love it. With those same individuals who had organized that violent attack. Second, his behavior is different. Behavior. It's not just that it was a comment by an official to fight for a cause. This is months of cultivating a basic <gasps> oh, who it's not one thing. Violent. It's not not one. potentially violent, but were violent. Oh, really? Who was violent? Trump was supporters were violent, but Antifa and Biden supporters weren't violent. Also shows clearly. Are you kidding me? That he I waste that my time and my breath on this stuff because it's a complete and utter joke to look at the hypocrisy of these politicians on both sides of the aisle. January 6. You gotta be a fucking clueless idiot if you don't see the lies and manipulation on both sides of this clown show. And this is just a farce to distract them from not doing the real work, the real hard work on getting small businesses back in the shape, operating an independent and free to make money and pay for their families. We're talking about bullshit words out of context and, and secretly recorded fucking bullshit of some Georgia fucking call. The point is this. Instead of giving people money who are out of work because of these fucking policies, and, and not getting fucking thousands of supporters fixing health care, fixing immigration, he had and to, fixing he had every the actual reason to know whole they were armed. What would you call this collusion, censorship, he knew who of he was big tech, Wall Street, and, the violence and politician of. cabal, and as to, the Time Magazine article pointed out, which the they blatantly quote. Fight like hell to stop the state. Oh, wait, I gotta go to this. I'm How sorry. Else was that going to happen? Fight like hell. Maybe There's not calling violence. violence. Maybe it would have just been to violently in, in fight in protest with their words. Giuliani said some stupid shit. Not gonna lie. That, that was, he's a dumbass. And that is why he. You can go after Giuliani, but Trump said peacefully. You peacefully. And you don't even include that. It's just a joke. I gotta listen to that. What did she say? Would she say some little inside oh, political humor? Going to did I miss a little if comedy? Stayed at the ellipse. Maybe it would have just been to violently in, in fight in protest with their words. But to come to the Capitol? That is why this is different. And that is why he must be convicted I gotta, I gotta hear. and acquitted. Oh. <laughs> And disqualified. Oh, disqualified. Oh, that's the real point here, right? It's to make sure that he can't run again. Another anti-politician, a businessman, for the first time, actually won a presidency and didn't come from the Republican ranks or the Democratic ranks, didn't kiss their ass, had his own money. That's the real problem here. They need to disqualify him. That's the whole point. Don't try to do solve the real hard problems for the Americans. Let's just try to get this one dude from not being able to run again. Ah, it's been a joy. It's been a joy. Let's move ahead. Of our government and uh, desecrated it. Uh, the 45th president All right. no longer holds office. Uh, We're back no to the Trump available under the Constitution, in our view, for him to be removed from office that he no, that he no longer holds. The only logical conclusion is that the purpose of this gathering is to embarrass the 45th president of the United States and in some way try to create an opportunity for senators to suggest 
that he should not be permitted to hold office in the future or at the very least publicize this throughout the land to try to damage his ability to run for office sorry people had to get in there he is acquitted pop something and uh, Ch chat it at up the same time uh, chop chop tell the 40 74 million people I'm like it you like that their choice was the Little. wrong choice i believe that that uh, this is a divisive way of going about <laughs> uh, handling impeachment and it denigrates the the great solemnity that should attach to such proceedings oh another vocabulary word solemnity what did he say i want to i want to get that word back i didn't think i got it right voted for them that their choice was the wrong choice i believe that that uh, this is a divisive way of going about uh, handling impeachment and it denigrates it's divisive the, the great solemnity and denigrates attach to denigrate another word vocabulary word I yield the remainder of my time mr president ah i missed it again and in some way try to create an opportunity for senators to suggest that he should not be permitted to hold office in the future that's what it's all about at least publicize this throughout the land to try to damage his ability to run for office uh when and if he is acquitted and uh when he's time, acquitted he'll be acquitted uh, tell the 40 if the republicans vote for this they're going to uh get primary the fuck the out choice i believe that that uh, this is a divisive way of going about uh, handling impeachment and it denigrates the the great solemnity that should attach solemnity 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 i did it that's uh i think i've had four um distinct vocabulary words out of today we've learned from the politicians and liberals today Four very good words to use, multi-syllabic multi uh, and very challenging, and you'll be asked about this in your uh, spelling bee next month. Well, let's move ahead. We got her. We did her. Did she come back? Didn't have the did him. The president was in any danger. Because the oh, did was... him. Thank you. Where are we at? Also bring something else. How many times is she gonna come back? As a people, who America? Okay, that they did not intend for our constitution. And the answer is yes. Of course, they left it out. Constitution, quickly authorizing. The... Wanted after draft of former officials. Okay. Good question. Um, and the answer is yes, of course they left it out. The framers were very smart men and they went over draft. Michael Van, draft Van Der Veen. Michael Van Der Veen. Michael Van Der Veen. Michael Van Der Veen. Michael Van Der Veen. State constitutions. All of them. And they picked and choose what they wanted. Yeah. And they discarded what they did not. Yeah, just figure it out. And what they discarded <gasps> was the option for all of you to impeach a former <sighs> elected official. I hope that's answering your question. Thank you. Does that answer the question? Thank you for answering the question. Thank you. Mr. That's President. very meaningful. Is there from California? Mr. Oh, President, send a question to the desk. A question to the desk. I believe that their election was stolen. This guy's back. And he's back with the beard. The point. That beautiful. Was the thing the that beautiful would beard. People so angry. Think about that. What it would take to get a large group of thousands of Americans so angry to storm the Capitol. That was the purpose behind Donald Trump saying that the election had been rigged, rigged. and that the election had been stolen. stolen. And to be clear, when he says the election is stolen, be what clear. he's saying is that the victory, and he even says one time, the election victory is being stolen from them.
election victory was stolen at 3 a.m. when pipes burst in Georgia and the counting stopped and people were kicked out. And then all of a sudden, all these Biden votes from 90 per, 90 to uh, 90% to, to 10%, all in Biden's favor, all of a sudden came in at the nth hour when everybody went to bed. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it's a little questionable. And there's, you, you shouldn't question that. It's unpatriotic to question those type of things. How dare you? How dare you challenge election results? But what President when you've got millions of ballots out there, what our unsolicited, was the no chain of custody, of what we're completely no signature validation. Let the people decide. You look at the, the extrapolate the 6.4 percent Georgia freaking ballot rejection in past election versus the 0.4, the and and just that's, this, again, to him, that's this how you make up the difference between all of this stuff. It was 50-50, and then they pushed it over the edge. They had enough to just push it over the edge. Enough money from Wall Street, enough politicians bought off by Wall Street, and big tech, don't leave out Wall Street and big tech, they're together. Oh, and now, oh, guess what we get to get? A little China. China's got a little Biden in his pocket. There little mini Biden. More and brother Biden. And the family the Biden. Biden Inc. And look at the all the shit they did with China to today. All of a sudden, now all their spies can come back into the universities. All the intellectual property theft. Ah. This resulted eh. in the loss of his, one of his. Press of doing business. As long as I get a little peace. A Capitol Police officer died that day. Other of President Trump's Do you know how many people died in Trump all the riots and mobs of the year 2020, dude? Do you understand how many people died? Their defense is basically everything President Trump, Trump did is ridiculous, okay, and he could do it again. Is that what we believe? What do I There's believe? No problem with that. There's no problem with what? Perfectly fine if he does the same thing all over again. What, he, what is this guy talking about? He's inciting his base. Oh, he was using the claim of Biden going to hit him behind the bleachers. Somebody do that over and over. Let's and over get again. to Biden in this little chamber. Can we get Biden in the chamber? Who's threatening violence? He took him. He's going to hit them. Actually said he's going to hit him. Millions of followers on Twitter and millions of followers on Facebook and you've what got a dumbass pulpit from the White House and you're the are you fucking the kidding States. me there is a cost to doing that people are listening to you in a way that quite honestly they're not listening to me and they're not no listening to all <laughs> nobody's gonna listen to you bro you got a nice yeah, beard I though I like it uh, the defense counsel made a point about a, uh, something that I read earlier Defense counsel suggested I misspoke. I can. I, I can I get the live chat going. I just didn't tweet do it. I'm going to find a stream. Directly. I'll put you in there. If a Democrat presidential candidate had an election rigged and stolen with proof of such acts at a level never seen before, the Democrat senators would consider it an act of war and fight to the death. Mitch and the Republicans do nothing, just want to let it pass. No fight. So Donald Trump was equating what Democrats would do if their election was stolen. He said they'd fight to the death. Why do you think he sends that tweet? Because he's trying to say, hey, the other side would fight to the death, so you should fight to the death. I mean, do we read that any other way? Mr. President, the Senator from Missouri. Mr. President, on my behalf and on behalf of all Senator right, Trump, all right, all right, all right. the desk. Let's see what we got here.
Senator Hawley on behalf of himself and Senator Kramer send a question for the uh, council and house managers and following our procedure, the first one to respond will be after the it's read will be the uh, uh, council for the former president. If the Senate's power to disqualify is not derivative of the power to remove a convicted president from office, could the Senate disqualify a sitting president but not remove him or her? There we go. We'll get your chat on. If the Senate's power to disqualify is not derivative of the power to remove a convicted president from office, could the Senate disqualify a sitting president but not remove him or her? President. Okay, what do we got here? As, as I'm getting up to live. Rest. Mr. Castro attributed a statement the time before last that he was up here that Donald Trump had told his people to fight to the death. <gasps> he said I'm that? Not from here. I'm not like you guys. I was I'm being not. very polite and giving it an Yay, opportunity come to on. And I thought that I'm not exactly like you guys. But instead, what he did is he came up and illustrated the problem with the presentation of the House case. Problem with the presentation? It's all about the presentation, bro. Worse, it's been dishonest. He came up and tried to cover when he I like this guy's moves. As hey, yeah, but a bing, you know, yay, it's a wise guy. Everything they did, and bear in mind, I had two days to look at their evidence. And when I say two, two days. days, I mean they started two. putting in the two. evidence. So I started two days. looking at it. You got to look at it. You got to give me some time. Two, two days, that's all I got. Be done, but what we discovered was he What'd you knew get? what he was doing. Did he know? He knew that the president didn't say that to his people. He knew he that? It happened to the Dems. It that happened. happened. He speech that day. You know what he said? What did he say? He said, if this happened to the Democrats, if the election was stolen from the Democrats, all hell would break loose. All but hell would break loose. We are smarter. If it was the Dems. We are stronger. We are smarter. And we're we're do what they and do gosh darn it, people long. like me. I'm the Stuart Smalley of the Trump lawyer team. So what he did was he misrepresented <laughs> a tweet to you to put uh, the narrative that is wrong. Was it's wrong. wrong. It's wrong. It's dishonest. It's dishonest. And people don't deserve come this on. Any longer. Ah, come on. I'm out of here. Ah, get out of here. I'm out. The managers on the part of the House of Representatives have two and a half minutes. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Inaccurate and irrelevant to what the question is. Let me get back to the question. Inaccurate um, and irrelevant. So, under Article 2, Section 4, oh, tell me. a president who is in office must be convicted before removal um, and, and um, then must be removed before disqualification. Okay. But if the, the president is already out of office, then he can be separately disqualified <gasps> as his president is. But these powers have always been treated as It's all about that. As separate it's totally all about that. I think there have been um, eight people who've been convicted and removed and just three of them disqualified. And as you know, there's a totally separate process within the Senate for doing <gasps> disqualify. this. Disqualify. It's the key word. It's the key word. Disqualified from running for office. But for Let's get to it. That's the one. It's a majority vote. Uh, it's a separate thing. So people could vote to convict and then vote not to disqualify if they felt that 
The evidence demonstrated that the president was guilty of incitement to insurrection. They could vote to convict, but if they he felt could. that they didn't want to exercise the further power he could vote. established by the Constitution. You have options, is what he's saying. Do that he's got that options, right? Be, um, something that, that's you know what he's saying? by the Senate by majority vote. I'm glad he explained the rules of this cloud show. I would be lost if I didn't know the rules. The senator from Massachusetts. <gasps> oh shit! I really would love to see Romney up there. Can we get Romney? What, Lindsay? We get there. Get all of those southern southern Republican in up there. I don't think they're going to do that. So let's see what other clowns we can get on the show. Let's bring them on. Bring on the clown show. The senator from Massachusetts uh, has the county. Oh yeah. The fact we got this dude. A question highlighted the fact we're getting up to live here. In past Skipping ahead. Were any of them specifically? from Florida were not actually Ugh. conforming to the this guy again because they have a rule in Florida that you can't be a dual office holder in other words you can't be like a state legislator and also be an elector and so that was improper form but I think the vice president then <sighs> vice president Biden, it's all about form it's all about the form try to make the electoral college work and we're going to vindicate the will of the people and that's pretty much what's happened and nobody has stormed the Capitol before or as representative Cheney the secretary of the Republican conference said <gasps> gone out and some is that Liz Cheney did he assembled did, a mob did you just say Liz Cheney lit a match as representative you didn't Cheney bring that said, word up. You did not mention that girl. This would you cannot mention her. She is a pariah. The doorstep of the president. <laughs> None of it would have happened without him, and everything is due to him. Ah, uh, just the best that round. Is the chair of the House Republican Conference, who was the the target of an effort to remove her, which was rejected. Yes. Uh, by more than two to one in the House Republican Conference. She's a freaking fraud. Voting for impeachment and becoming She's a leader. Freaking in with the cabal. Our constitutional values. So, she is. Please don't mess up what Republicans and Democrats have done in Cheney. a long time to say there are improprieties going on. Any of those freaking Arizona mother. With the idea of yeah, I'll just leave that alone. Uh, a mob insurrection <gasps> against the government that got five people killed, <gasps> 40 Capitol officers wounded, Ooh. and threatened oh. the actual oh. peaceful... Oh, no! It was a war! Power in America. It was a war! The Electoral College. Uh, <gasps> we talk about reforming the Electoral But let's not talk about Antifa and the whole year and the 30 plus people have died in mob violence but let's not let's just not talk about that at all let's not go there we shouldn't do that we can't we can't talk about the political climate at large and really be honest with ourselves and see how fucked up the situation is in politics until you hold all of them accountable and their accountability is is around hypocrisy and corruption and the, the taking of our freedoms through corporate mandates the of terms of service. Senator Kramer is for the, Until uh, that happens, this is a, just a clown show at all, all sides. It's just a freaking waste of time. Why? You ask me, in that case, am I doing this? The house manager that it's a test feed, dude. It's just a test feed. I'm sorry, do debts? Didn't mean to exclude my uh, female compatriots if you happen to be watching. It's, just, it's nothing to be sexist. Don't mean to be. Don't take it that way. The verbal for guys applies to men and women and where I come from. I just want you to know that. I'm not going to use they, them, or any of these other pronouns, even though I'm in. You need to stop behind enemy lines and my corporate overlord is trying to force me to do it not gonna do it sorry down here in washington not gonna happen there's nothing fun about let's just be honest philadelphia if you're offended from when you get used to it because we all get offended in this world over i'm not gonna stop talking the way i am and refer to people respectfully like i do and it happens to be you're offended by
I'm sorry. Get it yourself. Get over it. Not gonna happen. Hello, everyone. I'm oh, Ryan shit. Alright, let's give it to the real pros. I think we might be done here. Let's let's hear what the real pros have to say. I'm so eager to hear this. You're looking live at the Senate floor. Senators getting a chance to ask both sides questions in the impeachment. Ooh. Oh, so that both sides, it's balanced. President Trump's legal team came out so balanced. Earlier today. Trump's lawyers getting their chance to challenge the House impeachment manager's case. The Trump <sighs> team accusing Democrats of twisting. You know how long it's been since I've watched Fox News? Manipulating evidence. I, I haven't watched Fox News in freaking probably a month. You're Probably from the election, it's been more than a month. No, it's been a month. very Man. different meaning from the meaning it has <sighs> in full context. Let's watch. Oh, let's watch. You have to get your people to fight. Oh. He told them. Mm. Hypocrisy. Get your people to fight. And if they don't Hypocrisy. Fight, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm room. shocked. You primary them. Everybody's saying fighting. Everybody's saying fighting. You have the current president say he's going to punch the ex-president. You got to get in their faces. You got violence in the streets all year. You got people dying, executions in the freaking streets. And now we're surprised. Oh, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Oh, be still my beating heart. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna fight like hell. Give me. Fight. 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 Listen to this. Everybody. We are gonna fight. We're gonna fight. Look at these clowns. Everybody. This is the situation we found ourselves. We're in this whole, whole world of just hypocrisy, lies, and injustice, and offense. And fucking cabal of fucking collusion. And now it's not even collusion with our own freaking citizens who run mega corporations and big tech and, and politics. Now we got to bring China into it. We got to get paid off by China for their big belt and road. Oh, that, don't ever mind that the Biden family is all involved with a foreign entity. Come on. And this might not be constitutional. Is that the best argument for acquittal? Yeah, it is. 44 uh, Republicans voted uh, that this was unconstitutional. And so expect them to vote the same way on the issue of conviction. Or it's all done and over. It's just a waste of time to distract. The Democrats, a marketing campaign, if you will. And it's total distraction. Today, the, mo the Democrats' moral high ground quickly melted into a mud bog. You had incendiary language from the Democrats, check calls for confrontation, check abuse of power, check, <laughs> check. ignoring and dismissing, dismissing the check. suffering of Americans uh, amid the summertime riots, livelihoods were destroyed, check on that. Uh, check. And, but of course, remember that all this atrocious behavior was gonna end when President Trump left office, that they were gonna govern in the best interest of all Americans. And we're, we're not seeing Let's that. Let's just wrap our hands that around everybody. Oh, does it feel so cozy? Unity. Unity. I feel so good. I'm, I'm not going to be offended anymore. I'm not going to be offended. I'm so happy. No offense. I'm just. Ah, oh, bliss. Language. Come on, so I guess man. The moral mountaintop looks awful like a morass at the end of the day. So, Greg, well, uh, you know, okay. a lot of the uh, lawyers today, they were saying that they think this whole impeachment trial by the Democrats was an act of political vengeance by the opposition <sighs> party. And I, I, I got to tell you, I watched a lot of the trial and I found some of it riveting. I, I thought it was scary. Was it riveting? Close Vice President Pence came uh, to being caught up by the mob. I think it was awful. Really? Uh, rioter with a stun gun looking for Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe that. It was a waste of time. This is a pretty surreal situation. It's just, uh, my reaction is just, it's just a laugh. I can't believe there wasn't enough security. 
and how they could be so flat-footed. I mean, how do you want the government to do anything when they can't even protect the Capitol during an election? Ridiculous. All they kept hearing whenever they would talk about that is find people on both sides. So the lawyers played the entire context. So Chris Cuomo had to sit through it and watch it, right? And go, oh my God, yeah, he, did, he did disavow racists. He did disavow white nationalists. And he disavowed uh, uh, Antifa and... Uh, so that undermined well, we're just arguing the freaking election arguments all over again. It's a complete waste of time. It's the fine people, the the fine people comment. It's the fine now the fine people hoax, and it's so important that that got shown. Maybe Joe uh, the full context in the effort of you to admit that he was wrong for calling everyone who supported Trump ra uh, racist. And then the other important. I'm gonna have to rewatch this. This is gonna be hilarious. Uh, demolish the incendiary language defense by showing it's not just the montage it's showing how subjective your analysis can be depending on your ideology you, trump can use the same words as democrats but he's evil and they're not that was the whole point evil. of showing these th these evil. words is that you as a human evil. you're not supposed to see out of context words as meaningful because they are out of context they are abusing the language and they are meaningless so that just destroyed that whole argument there is a key difference between democrat and republican language it happens after an event right the republicans are always law and order they condemn all violence mm -hmm. all mobs all may they wait democrats they wait they don't let emotions get a hold of them as much i think that's might be a fair assessment peaceful those things burn yeah. down that's rare so in a weird way the democrats have mob rights and no one else has mob rights nor does anybody want them and i think that's what we learned today which why today was meaningful did we learn anything i don't think we did i think it's just a joke i mean i i'm just a joke difference between what we saw from democrats language and what we saw at the capitol but that's, no, you just proved my Jesse, point. let me come to you. How about Antifa, brother? Okay. All right, so How about Juan? How about the little Antifa I, I riots and the, and the the whole incentivization by all the, the violence Europe by the Democrats to get in people's faces, to punch him behind the bleachers? How many times were that incentivizing BLM, Antifa, to execute Capitol, people i think we can say was fueled by trump's false claim that the election was done so done now say that joe biden won the election fair and square and there was <laughs> no a never systemic fraud. be a joke <laughs> Juan, nice try. I want to nice. back up to your earlier part. None of these senators are sure. impartial. This is a political <laughs> trial. You think Schumer has an open mind? And to your other question, Juan, yeah, the Trump legal team was not able to prove that there was enough fraud that would have changed the results of the election. And I can say President Biden. I don't understand why you think that's some sort of gotcha question. I live in the real world. But today, no, Juan, I'm if you lived in the you real world it, and you saw what the defense presented, you would see that the Democrat... All righty, folks. That was fun. Just messing around. Don't take anything this seriously. If you're offended, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> it's just a, some dude sitting in his house, playing with some tag, commenting on politics, being fucking free will. And if you're offended by this, eh, go give a fly and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, he. The Democrat politics. That's all I gotta say. Be impeached for incitement. All right, Under folks. Standard they could. Peace out. I mean, how many years? Have Hope you enjoyed it. Say, I had a blast. He's a traitor that colluded with Putin, and he's an 